Concentration normally starts with a dream. You say, I'd like this. I'd like to this, whatever this is. And his dream was a non racist world. Did he achieve his dream during his lifetime? No. Did it matter? No. It gave him passion and purpose. When you have a dream, you have passion and purpose. You, you can say, I want this and I'm going to try and get this and I'm You keep trying and if he achieved his dream, he would just have found another one. He's another. And another. So it's just the fact that you are wanting and longing for something. However, when you dream, if you go that far, understand that you take on dissonance and disappointment too. Because you will not achieve exactly what you set out to achieve. And the gap between what's happening and what you wanted drives dissonance. Drives that queasy feeling, that feeling of I'm not happy and I'm not achieving and you get very disappointed. It's a preferred state to me than not having a dream. Though. I'd rather have the, the purpose and the passion that combines with dissonance and disappointment. So that's how I feel about it. Another book on the subject of success is The Talent Code. And he debunks this 10,000 hours for success of Daniel Quote. So you know they write lately about you need 10,000 hours of practice before you get good at something. And it's a brilliant book in terms of learning faster and remembering better. And at ETA, we've also got to apply that. We've got to understand our students need to learn faster, remember better, rather than teach or lecture birds on flying. You know, it's no point. If they know it already, don't do it. Do the stuff they don't know. And he used the example of futsal. That's why ETA, you'll see it today, is model of futsal. Because in futsal, it's a mini soccer game. You get to touch the ball six times as many times as you would in a normal soccer game. That means you learn six times as fast because you make six times the error the six times the more opportunities to learn. Go to take that analogy and continually try it. How do you get to people to learn faster, remember better, deep learning? The other thing that we're keen on is a competent student. And again, mental type of student, competence. But we want to go deeper than simply a surface approach to learning. We want to go beyond a qualification. We want our students to truly, truly have a deep understanding of what they do. Rather than, yeah, I can give an exercise class. It's the, you know, this muscle. They've got to be able to understand depth and bigger. Same with mental toughness deep understanding of what it means. So my advice to anyone I speak to, or to myself, or to students, you must learn your craft, <coughs> you must practice your skill, and you must polish your act. Then you're going to find you don't have to chase money. Money's going to chase you. When you're the best, when you're David Rudisha, when you're Jessica Guinness, money chases you. You don't have to chase money. And we believe we can make our students the best. So we dare to dream at ETA. We have a dream. And the current dream, the current dream is embodied in this video, which I must link much better than that. <laughs> <laughs>